jumping the ball to the game. How do you feel about your role on the game this season? Before you answer, I want to say that was a very sexy role. I don't care. <laughs> You know, I've actually caught a lot of slack. Like on Twitter, people been tearing me up. Like I really felt like no, like and it, they've been saying it's a positive thing, but it's like I kind of felt like if you ever seen a low down dirty shame where Jada Pickett is that guy for yeah. herself, and she's like, oh, that's such and such, and then she attacks him. Every day I was just glad to happen to me. Yes. So. Um, but, you know, for me, it was about um, not judging the character and showing that even though people might do bad things, quote unquote, well, actually a bad thing, it's just, you never know what they're going through, what's happening behind closed doors and what their circumstances or the situations, it, you know, is. And so it's, it's always better to pray for someone and just not be judgmental, you know. And um, with Parker, you know, again, it's hard for me not to judge the character because I am against that, but at the same token, you know, I thought it was important to show this woman's been through some things, and you just never know. It was good to see you in a different kind of role. Right. I like it. Mm -hmm. Be a bad girl. That's that fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How you doing? I'm glad to talk to Byron with your daughter, Jet. First of all, congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. What is the biggest misconception of being a successful actor? Life is easy. Uh, yeah, that's what you got it on the silver platter. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That you're rich. You're rich. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, God. That you that uh. That the blogs don't hurt your feelings. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> What are some of your favorite blogs? <laughs> What's some of your favorite blogs? Um, what are my favorite blogs? Which ones do I read? Yeah, which ones do you read? I, I don't have any favorites. What? Nicole, bitch, she talks about you a lot. Yeah, actually, she's really nice. She's really nice. And, and Brown's sister is really nice, too. Um, Freddie he, he, well, kicking me. Freddie O.com. Huh? Freddie O.com. Freddie O.com. That's fine. And tell that here, but to me. Yes, 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 yes. But I, anything that's positive, you know, to me is a blessing. If it, if it's negative, it's a blessing too because it, it gives me an opportunity to pray through it and pray for the person and improve my character. Right, right, right. So, you know, but it still can be hurtful sometimes. You're still a human being. Pull you, me? Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, pretty much what Megan said. Because um, here's the thing, you guys, I mean, People understand, it's just like, as far as being a celebrity in it, like, we still eat, sleep, and shower, and get tired, and uh, get aggravated, um, you know, and, and sometimes, you know, people may take our niceness for weakness in a sense, um, and I think that's just trying to find that, that, um, that midpoint. Um, to explain to people, like you know, it's not that I, it's not that I don't want to take a picture. I don't want to uh, decide that I'm being pulled away or I'm, I'm late for flight. Um, you know, I'm, I don't take my glasses off because I have, I've only got one hour of sleep and my eyes are red. Um, you know, but but even be, even before that, I think that the reason why I am the way I am because a lot of people may say like, wow, you guys are like cool celebrities, like you guys are like really cool down to earth and stuff like that, and you know. As far as like when I when I when I talk about Megan, it's kind of like finding a kindred spirit where it's like, as far as it's not so much about like we said, hey, we want to be celebrities. It's a title that just comes with what it is that we do. We decided to choose. We decided to make the choice to go do something that we want to do and have fun. And I always like make it a point to let people know that you know it's a choice as to what it is that you want to do. If you're not happy, change it. You understand? So it's kind of like you know if a lot of people in my opinion, are like, well, you got to go to college to be successful. I mean, college, you get, you know, it's overrated. It's not for everyone. But I learned as far as being involved in showbiz, you know, I was at college when it all kind of happened for me. Uh, I didn't go to school for, uh, for acting. So I think, uh, you know, life is what you make it and what you put into it. And, you know, again, my dad, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Um, but I know that I wanted to do this. Um, you know, I, I, it wasn't that I wanted to, to be on MTV Cribs or I wanted the, the like the, the cool car and the, the 
money and the girls and all that. It was like I wanted to make people laugh. Like I just felt like I was born to do this. And I made it a point to say, you know what, I found something that I, I, I love to do. And again, my dad, when you find a job that you love, you'll never work another day in your life. I call